Welcome back, 20 Years of Doom. I'm Temin. I'm Coffee. I'm Red. Today we're in the refueling base. The demon is dead. All is well. Um, what could possibly go wrong? Oh. Oh. We just feel- had to jinx it. Bubsy 3D. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I remember some shit about the refueling base, mostly the amount of zombie men is highly unusual. Yeah, so this is probably one of the highest count monster counts in all of Doom 2. Um, with well over 300 monsters. Yeesh. Yeah. Um, so, the deal with this level is, this is actually a Tom Hall map converted by Sandy Peterson. Um, the very last one of those, this map used to, was in uh, one of the uh, Doom 1 alphas and then uh, Sandy Peterson repurposed it as a Doom 2 map and just shoved it full of monsters. Okay. Hmm. Going back to what I said in the last video, by the way, you totally killed that zombie man with a, just that singular zombie man with a super shot thing. I'm pleased. <laughs> Yo! Well, you know, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Time to celebrate. Hey. Oh, no. ah, oh, That's not celebratory at all. Go away. You know yep. what they say? If you play no. with the skeleton, you're going to get boned. God, you stop. <laughs> you need to stop. Woo! Wow. How have I never heard that one? <laughs> oh, wow. Wait, isn't this... My rock is a lot bigger than I thought. <laughs> isn't that a secret? Um, yeah. It is kind of. It's not flagged as a secret, but it's an obscure sector that no one would think to lower. Hmm. Or maybe it's a sector that everybody would think to lower, and that's why it's not a secret. Oh god. Here, and we've just here. been wrong all these years. Using a rocket launcher and something. Mm. Are you for real? Jeez. Are you for real right now? Uh, yeah, so this is the uh, dark room with just a bunch of uh, zombie men in cubbies. Uh, uh, maybe, maybe these are the bunks. Yeah, some kind of sleeping quarters. Yeah. I kind of like the idea they're just sleeping standing up a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're like horses. They don't need to... Well, n- never said that, you know, that there were beds, just that this is where they sleep, really. Yeah. It's, uh... Oh, that's why it's the refueling base. This is where they just store the zombie men to, you know, oh, recharge them okay. for the day. <laughs> refueling, quote-unquote. ba bum Yep. I'm I'm sorry. Sorry. Now the Question. lights are all on, so now all the zombie men are awake. Even though, you know, sleeping in the light, they probably already were. I mean, only I can see the slide. I grabbed the light amplification goggles. Oh. I, I totally... Whatever. <laughs> Doom 2 is a hard game to comprehend, because... You just shot a door and it opened. It's that UAC t- uh, technology we were talking about before. Yeah, uh, I'm still door. I'm still engineering that. It's a. Uh, it's quite the challenge, let me tell you. Key based, the bullet based keys. Mhm. That's it. Yeah. So in this little secret cubby, there's this suspicious wall, but we'll come back to that later. There's there's more. Uh, more uh, depths yet on uh, on explore, I guess. I couldn't come up with a good uh, line for that. Uh, nothing to smoke pinkies again. Get 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 over it. They're they're, they're plentiful. Well, that's what the super shotgun is for. And also, there was an example of it penetrating a target. Just uh, now. Yeah. Uh, it does good do stuff. that. Um. Yeah. Uh. Hmm. I'm trying to wonder how to explain that. Because I kind of know how it works. Basically, the. Oh, God. Why? Oh, God. Why now? Why oh, now? It's okay. We got it. We're fine. Oh, what? God, Where'd it go? Before. Ah! What? Tech. Cyber Demons teleport now. When? Oh, no. How does it do that? Well, it so, doesn't actually. Yeah, it, it, there are just teleport lines that only the monsters can activate in that room. And that's how that works. So imagine that you were going through an invisible wall maze. Except instead of invisible walls, they were teleporter lines that only the player could activate. I thought you were going to say imagine four balls at the edge of a cliff. Uh, oh no. <laughs> Why are they at the edge of a cliff now? Eh, 
<laughs> Never mind. <laughs> okay. I know what I know what Tim is talking about. I'd rather not know, but thanks. <laughs> uh, oh god, there's so many. Like, I don't think Sandy put any consider consideration into monster encounters in this map. I just kind of put them all everywhere willy nilly. Isn't that pretty much what yeah. Sandy Peters' map design is in general? Not really. I mean, he sometimes has some really good encounters, like the pan elementals behind the secret thing in map 8. Yeah. The, the infighting thing with the cyber demon and the barons. Oh, you got me so, there. You have me there. I'm just giving. I'm just giving. I'm just giving him a hard time because, well, well, yeah, that's the cool thing to do. I I'm glad you brought up monster encounters actually because one oh unfortunate wow. trend I feel oh. that comes with Doom Two is that while they they scale up the ridiculousness of monster numbers a lot. I feel like they also kind of dilute it in that same way, where the intimacy of monster encounters sort of disappears with that bulk blob of monsters. It's like, ah, oh, just look at all these guys you can rocket launcher through, or super shotgun through, rather than before, where you're in a, a tight area, and you've got to sort of figure out which weapon you want to use to approach the situation, and cover, and... That's fair. I mean, it's a bit more macro than micro, which, you know... Take that as you will. Uh, but it's it's a mix-up, really. I mean, on the other side of that coin... Um, I, I have to disagree. I kind of like the idea there's just a horde of monsters around every corner. It's well, nice yeah. to the insanity. But, hey, to each their own, I guess. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm saying that it's just... It's a different experience. It's, it's less the original Doom and more its own thing. Yeah. In yeah. not a bad way, but in a less intricate way, I feel. Sometimes. I, Sometimes! Yeah, because, I mean, the new monsters and everything can be good, put to good uh, effect, you know, using, you know, interesting encounters. As a, I'm not sure where that sentence is going, but you know what I'm trying to say, I, right? Yeah. Um, like, you can, like, you can make an interesting formation of monsters with the new monsters to make a horde more interesting. Yeah, like, um, all the new monsters have, like, brand new functions that weren't seen anywhere on Doom 1. Like, mm -hmm. the pain elementals bring in new enemies, the, uh, shoot, the mancubus has, like, a spread fireball shot, the, uh, right. the arachnotron will try to keep you pinned down with the, uh, the plasma rifle. Right, huh. really good. At oh, hey! Speaking of which... Yeah. We, we took the back door into this room because I thought it would be easier, and it was... So, uh, something that I think we talked about a while ago that I kind of want to bring up here in the video now is, uh, do you ever remember just arbitrarily wanting to have the green plasma gun <laughs> yes. rounds? Yes. Yeah, I know. and the only reason is because I didn't have it. Yep. Also, so I, I still want to propose an experiment. Like, <laughs> get some, some uneducated person or even, you know, a naive yeah, kid. Yeah, somebody not familiar with Doom 2. Give them a gr a plasma gun that shoots green bolts, and then have the spider, or sorry, the arachnotrons shoot blue bolts, and have green eyes, and uh, see if maybe sometime during their experience or later on, like if they have the same feeling about the reverse. <laughs> and then be like, surprise! It was actually that way the whole time. Your your life is actually a carefully constructed acronym. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez! I mean, it's, it's an experiment. You're a rat in a maze. A social and the experiment. Gun was the cheese. I'm sorry, it didn't taste very good. <laughs> oh wait. Oh. Um, well, yeah, I guess this room's too big for a BFG round, really. Also, I'm hoping. Oh, you also I... only have 64 ammo. I was kind of curious. Mm. I remember reading somewhere that the super shotgun was in Doom One's code, but it was completely unusable. Um, is there any hmm. truth to that, or is that just something made up? I, I don't think I've ever heard that before. I'm pretty sure that's not true, but I have no real way of verifying that, since, you know, the, the Doom that source code um, has just, like, all the code for uh, Doom 1 and 2 and also Final Doom in it, so there's no re real way to see earlier versions of the code. Hmm. So, I, I don't think there was code for the Super Shotgun in Doom 1, but I'm not... 100% sure. Well, it makes me think of, so, 
The BFG eventually became something amalgous to a super duper shotgun. You could look at it that way. Right. It shot. But like originally, the like original. its original purpose was going to be like the rainbow fun gun. Yes, it yeah. just shot um, rockets, bullets, plasma bolts, and everything else under the sun. Right, so maybe potentially the Super Shotgun's code birthed from the BFG when it, in its final form, so maybe an early version of the Super Shotgun isn't Doom's code, but not a completed version. I could see something like maybe. that. Alright, so here's the... I kind of like this exit area. Nice little fence. It's nice. Yeah, it's, uh, you know... It's like we're 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 coming home. Oh. And home is the demo, the most common. Well, I say the most common, but it's the first demo reel. Oh yeah, this is yeah, it's the first. You're right. I, yeah. I'm not gonna repeat the sentence you just said, <laughs> even though I almost did. Well, yeah, I, 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 I felt like bringing up that this feels like the one I always see when I start doing. Well, that's because it's the first one. Yeah, it's. The first one on the demo reel. It's I also on my, one of my. I did it. It's also one of my yes. second second most hated map in this really? pack. Yeah. This is like one of my second most uh, liked maps in this yeah, pack. I, I, of, I, of all the maps that I don't like and do, I actually do enjoy this one, even though it it feels dickish at times. Yeah. It's it, just it's fun. So this is the first Doom 2 map by John Romero. Uh, I understand you have some credits with this Doom 2 maps coffee. Yeah, I do. Care some to share? Of, some of his designs make my head hurt, and not in a hmm. good way. <laughs> hmm. Maybe it's just because I'm, you know, overly familiar with these maps that I don't get that, but I couldn't say for sure. Well, I, haven't, I haven't played Doom through Doom 2 all that much. Not well, I only done like two playthroughs of it, so maybe. Oh, yeah. I, 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 maybe I'm just kind of not that. <laughs> Good yeah. at map navigating as I think I am. I've played this game like at least 50 times in my childhood, always on. Don't, uh, what's it? Uh, I'm too young to die. Well, that means I've played this game at least a tenth of that many times in my <laughs> childhood. And then a hundred times more as we got older. Yeah. Well, maybe more, more like a thousand times more, but. But yeah, um, I really like this map. I think it has a, an interesting layout. You got the circle hub area with a bunch of branches that are all kind of different heights. It's interesting. Oh, also, yeah. most What's obscure the... secret. I didn't discover that until like uh, the Xbox 360 port of Doom came oh my out. God. Yeah. No, I. Uh... <laughs> it's, That's all I got. It's a bit obscure, but it, it might just it might work. Just work. Yes. Yeah. Oh god. Uh, oh! I... Huh. I feel like I've never noticed that, or maybe I just never thought about it, but... It's kind of interesting how the, uh... No! Oh. What? Wait. Are you... are you gonna... He's too fat oh. to chainsaw, except for oh. at the uh, most oh. precise of angles. Myth busted, you can't chainsaw a stupid Arachnotron. Yeah, it just takes way too much effort. Yeah. But, what were you saying, Red? Um, the, uh, the Arachnotron's plasma bolts actually end in a yellow explosion and not a green one. Yeah. Hmm. I guess, Little yeah. detail. But, um, here we have another new enemy. Oh, my only no. problem with this map! Ah! No. Oh my god, <laughs> oh not boy. this guy, come on. Uh, this, th this enemy is a real nightmare. Fire guy. I think you mean the nightmare. God. Uh, the underscore nightmare dot txt. Yeah. He gets a perfect six. Highest mm -hmm. rating so far. That's sub that's infinity. That's not infinity. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So the deal with this guy is, um, oh, okay. A, they can all resurrect dead monsters to a certain extent. They can't resurrect other arch files or uh, Thanks, the cyber lady. demon, for instance. But any other, you know, mid-tier mook to low tier, they can all be resurrected. If they're not a boss monster, basically. Yeah. Also, I wanted to point out that you inflicted a pain chance on him with a super shotgun, and that's what I've been trying to tell you for the longest time, that you can't do it. It's just not worth it. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the um, typical strategy for dealing with those guys. Um, also, um, let me explain their attack real quick. Basically, they have this long charge up to a uh, really powerful explosion attack. It's basically a, a hit-scan rocket 
So Ugh. if you're not in their line, well, if you're in their line of sight, you're just going to take the full brunt of it. So you probably want to find some cover if you're dealing with those guys. Yep. And also, oh, if you, well, you go ahead. And also, if you get hit with it, you jump a bit. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. And that is used to effect in certain mods. Arch yep. file jumping. Like, it's kind of a thing you have to do or need to do for secrets, but on that note as well, there's some there's some interesting properties. Somebody did an experiment. Maybe we'll, we'll drop the video or I'll find it. Um, but there are different properties to how the arch file blast affects you or, you know, how the arch file can try to attack you based on sector heights of walls in front of you and in between you and the arch file and other things like that. Mm -hmm. It's really it's really pretty neat. Like if a wall is actually high enough and it's in between you and the arch file, it'll still attack you, but it won't do any damage. God, I didn't think I was gonna get educated in this. How did I not know this? <laughs> yeah, what the I'll, heck? I'll show you afterwards. It's pretty crazy mm -hmm. stuff. But yeah, um, Coffee was saying earlier about their pain chance. They have like a um, very minuscule pain chance, like I don't know, something like eight, seven, eight percent pain chance, so maybe lower. Yeah, I actually, pain chance isn't dependent of weapons. It's dependent on enemies, right? Yeah. I feel like pain chance for arc files is like three and a half percent. Yeah. Yeah. The point is, it's very low and. Right. The way to deal with them is typically, if you, there's no cover, the super shotgun's probably your best chance, just for the best, right. you know, odds of triggering the pain state, but even then, there's still, like, a pretty decent chance like, that it'll fail. So, your, your next best option is, like, probably the plasma gun, because it has such an incredibly high rate of fire. It's faster than the chain gun, and, I don't know. Yeah. I, it's it's those are your two best bets really, or just uh, BFG and and get it dead as quick as possible. Yep. So, yeah. Those. Mm. Oh god. So they're actually quite reserved on using <coughs> arch files in Doom 2. There are only, I believe, around 24 in the entire game. Really? Oh, that's still too many. Yeah, but <laughs> in my educated just opinion. Believe you me, there will be uh, way more in certain Doom mods, and it'll be terrible. Oh, just horrifying. Uh, I, I said something at the beginning of this thread that I still hold true to because of, specifically because of arch files. <laughs> arch files. However you wish to pronounce them. Yeah, that's... Either or. That's... Tomato, potato, Jib, Mario, Gib. Mario. There we go on. No, it's, it's Gib. <laughs> Shut up. Gibbs. <laughs> Woo! The only exception. <laughs> All right. Uh, what were you trying to say? But I'm not sure. I lost my train of thought again. Damn it. It was something you said at the start of the thread. Uh, yeah. Well, there's a specific wad that I'm looking forward to oh. slash not looking forward to because it... I I remember it u making heavy use of arch files. Yeah, that wad even has an arch file in each um, intermission screen, so... <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's oh, specifically boy. why I don't like it. It's not... No, uh, no, that's something else. I remember. Okay. I was gonna say I almost said, but I realized I was wrong. Uh oh, beep. What? That's near the end. There's, there's no arch files in that. There's only. Also, fun fact: in different versions, later versions of Doom 2, that uh, jump isn't necessary. There's just a bridge, um, by the radiation suit behind the red key door. Oh, how so, thoughtful of them. Yeah. You didn't so... have to make an obtuse jump. So no comment about the weird skull switch? Um, um yeah, I'll, it's a so bit strange. That switch was what was holding back, uh, the remains of humanity from escaping Earth's orbit. I'm not sure how that's supposed to work, but it's weird. Uh, like a, it's like a shield that if you try and fly through it, it's actually a solid brick wall. Oh, jeez. I guess, I don't know. Um. Tractor beam. Yeah, we, so we saved the uh, remainder of the human race, and now we're just gonna die, except Colonel Josen radioed us and said, oh, we could stop the invasion if, you know, we go to your hometown, Mesquite, Texas, and kill them all. Just, just throwing oh. it out there. Oh my god. We're in Texas? The, the, the demons come from Mesquite, Texas. Yeah. Oh, wow. Take that as you will. 
You know what I was thinking about the entire time we were recording? What's what? that? Doom noises as ASMR. Oh, man. <laughs> hmm. Just, you just get some directional... <laughs> oh, jeez. How about, how about hearing the super shotgun reloaded, but for every uh, interval e- of yeah, each, each click, sound... Yeah, each little, uh, yeah... Is in a different ear, so <laughs> oh, God. the the explosions in your left ear, and then the first, you know, the first each, click. each part of the the clicking and the cocking is in alternate ears. Oh God, that sounds <laughs> thoroughly unpleasant. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's got it, it can't be pleasant ASMR. It's got to be hellish ASMR because Doom's Hell. Ah, really. you nailed it. Yeah. On that note, the end. All right, see y'all later.